Hey guys, Ken's 97 sto 171 I'm going to do a video here on my 2007 Kia Sorento. So it's going to be just a slideshow video. I don't have any good video uh, other than what you guys have already seen. But um, I'm going to show a slideshow of just the exterior. And then I'm going to go through and um, show you the major repair that we I talked about in the last video where we had to pull the engine apart and do the timing chain adjusters so anyway here we go so these next few pictures are just gonna be exterior shots nothing spectacular here I'd like to get the windows tinted uh, the front window is the same as the uh, back window is there. I think that looked pretty cool. And you might notice here the uh, left side headlight, passenger side, is a little foggier than the right, the driver side. And right here you can clearly see clearly see that the paint doesn't match. That's where it was hit. Here's an interior shot. Obviously the seats are the wrong color. We discovered that after. And yes, it's filthy in there. Sorry guys. Um, the seats should be the same color as the door panel there. They should be tan cream, whatever that is, but they're gray. We didn't know that was not correct until we got home and found some writing on the bottom of the seat frames. There's a under hood shot, filthy of course, 3.8 liter V6. Here's a repair I did to the driver's side headlight. That mount there was cracked and I just epoxied it together. There's the passenger side headlight compared to the driver's side headlight, which was replaced obviously after the accident. So here's the beginning of the repair. Um, we've got the, uh, there's a cross brace that goes across there in front of the radiator. There's my friend Chad, two twisty uh, rat race losers also. Um, he was an unbelievable amount of help t doing this repair. Without him, I couldn't have done it. There's some more damage in the left front we saw under the bumper cover. Side shot with the radiator. Radiator's out. There's the front of the engine. A little closer view, serpentine belt. Always good to take a picture of that. There's the radiator, which was ginormous. I've never seen a radiator fan that large. It gives you an idea compared to my hand. It was just huge. Throttle body was a surprise. Yeah, that's the throttle body, and it is filthy. And I took a couple different shots here with different flashes. We left it that way rather than clean it because we really didn't want that muck getting up into the engine uh, and it wasn't running badly so we thought best to leave it alone uh, just a shot of the engine there we go starting to take the intake manifold bolts out which is that thing right under those his hand shot from the passenger side uh, that's the oil filter back there the black thing there's a cover and the oil filter is actually under the uh, underneath that there's the front of the engine with all the stuff off that's the main timing chain case cover Again, another picture of the uh, throttle body. Valve cover's off. Didn't get a very... I missed a bunch of pictures of the intake coming off. And we're starting to see, unfortunately, how much crud is in this engine. And you can see it there on the chain and the guide there on the top. There's uh, passenger side, I believe. Head. There's the valve cover. From one side to the other, look at the crap there. There's a close-up of all of the... It was just... It wasn't hardened. It was soft and mushy. Um, so I think it just... Somebody hadn't changed the oil a lot. There's a picture of the driver's side cylinder head. You can see the bolt there actually has so much goop on it that you can't see the bolt anymore. There you go. Fortunately, the camshafts look okay. We didn't see any scoring on any parts. So... I don't know what the deal was there. There's a shot of the timing cover off the front. Another one. A little close up, and again, you can see all the muck everywhere. There's a there's a big old piece of crud stuck on there. Um, this is one of the uh, timing chain lash adjusters, and that was the problem with this. There's a I circled them in red there. And uh, basically they fail and they retract, and then it, when you first start the engine up, the chain flops around making a rattling noise. And there's one circled again. 
So that's what fails. Fortunately, the guides did not look damaged really at all, and there wasn't any problems. There wasn't any metal. We didn't see any metal fragments. Down there on the bottom is actually the oil pump. It's chain driven off the crankshaft. There's the front cover, black and full of crud. A little closer view. Another view. And another view. There's a upper timing chain guide. Keeps the chain from flopping between the two camshafts there. It's actually missing the plastic guides. There. You can see the outline of where they were. And there's the front of the engine cleaned off uh, as best as we could. Lots of brake parts cleaner, some scrubbing. That one's a little blurry. Sorry, guys. There's some more. Much better than it was. Not perfect, but about the best we could do. Um, there's a nice wide shot. Much better. Everything's out. Another view with a slightly different with the flash on, I think. And another view. There we got the uh, new chains in, the new guide, and the new uh, adjuster. There's the passenger side one in, and all the new, new guides are in it. Another picture that's the same. And there's the cover back on. We did clean that cover too, by the way. Uh, interesting, the, the boss is different on the water pump here. You can see where I circled it. It's a different shape. The factory, the original one, is long, and it's, there's no bossing. Also, this bolt was wrong. That casting is different on the original water pump. So that one where his finger is is wrong. Those two that are circled in red are... We had to get different bolts because they wouldn't go into... Uh, we found that in the air cleaner. Isn't that nice? There's it all back together again. And there's us. Uh, we became members of the Kia chain gang. And there's me. Acting like hoodlums. Hey. And there it is all done. And another shot of it all put back together again. And that's it, guys. Um, that's a review of my 2007 Kia Sorento and the subsequent repairs that were done which was really not that difficult it was a lot of little steps and it was not easy but it also wasn't very hard there wasn't any difficult parts it was just a lot of things to take apart